Hello everyone, and welcome to another part of uh, a 25 to bargain way. Great intro. Awesome. <laughs> I'm so good. Anyway, we're gonna decorate the house, yeah. I had so much fun decorating this one. It's a very, uh, a very colorful palette inside. So I'm very, very proud of this one. First of all, I'm gonna put some uh, exterior furniture down. Like, um, well, this isn't technically furniture, but I wanted to do this one because I remember it happening. And it look cute. Maybe they're really big fisher people. They like fishing. So, I wanted to put down a little picnic table also outside. Because, you know, it's next to a pond, so there needs to be a picnic table, right? Some issues with orientation. I was like, should I put it there? Straight, right, diagonal. Now, of course, this is only a table. It looks like you can sit on it. But if you have some invisible chairs, ch sorry, chairs, you can put them around that table and they can actually sit around it. Now, um, I also wanted to put some normal furniture just inside the little garden. Although, can you really call it a garden? It's just some shrubs and <laughs> some tiles, but. It'll do. It'll have to do. Con I was just impatient. I just wanted to get inside and do things. <laughs> so yeah, first we're gonna start with the kitchen. Like I said, I really like this floor plan and everything, you know, is sort of flipped. The, you know, it's not really a basement, but the first floor is the bedroom. But it kind of acts like a basement. Uh, it's very, uh, very cute idea. Now this is probably one of my new favorite kitchen sets. Really like those counters; they're amazing, nice texture. So again, I think, ooh, it's a conversion by beautiful Nerd Kitty out of my head, off out of my head, off of my head. I, I think it is. Those uh, I think they are from a Sims 4 creator, probably, or maybe I don't know. I don't remember. Anyways, what matters is that those counters are amazing. I had the same problem with the well problem. I had the same idea with the inside as the outside. I was like, I'm gonna start a really simple, really clean, but I went off the rails <laughs> relatively fast. Like this looks kind of clean, like simple, just some not too much clutter. And then pans started happening. And the pan wreck, and then uh, yeah, this is very lost control. So, we're not even three minutes in, yeah, we're three minutes into the video. So speed that up by like four, so 12 minutes. Yeah, so I lost control relatively fast. <laughs> and then, you know, clutter and color sort of fl flooding in. That's some trivia with the fridge though. You will see me changing it relatively often to, you know, I was like, yeah, maybe this color, maybe this pattern, but yeah. For some reason, as you will see, I picked a, a, a normal sort of kitchen table. I picked this one, but for some reason I thought, you know what? Let's make a red one <laughs> because I don't know. Uh, you know, the red table started it all, I think. Not the pans, because the pans are kind of... The pans started the clutter, but the red table started the... Uh, as you can see, <laughs> yeah, the, the, everything's color changing. Yep, we are officially into color. Woo! Oh, it looks so nice. Yeah, well, it looks nice. Really, really liked what I did with this little lot. Nice. Uh, those are my favorite chairs. I know everyone and their grandma uses them both in their games and in real life, but I still like them. So I will use them too, because I'm a sheep. Nah, I just, just really like them. Now this is of course always the biggest challenge when you have a very small lot or house. I mean, how do you rearrange your furniture? As you can see, I really like using the sofa, but it's kind of 
There's some parts that are off tile, so it doesn't really go well. Uh, if you want to put it like on two tiles, because some parts will bleed through the wall, so... Yeah, at this point I thought, you know what, let's put a half wall so you can uh, kind of uh, create this sort of, you know, little border between the living room and sort of the entrance. So it's just going to be very simple. Oh, well, yeah. A little loft seat. Because, you know, there isn't really space for anything else if you want to put down like a TV or, you know, those kind of things. I hope the audio for this one's gonna be good because I am lounging like crazy in my chair right now. Pretty sure if some of you people who are, who, you know, are those like, uh, how do you call them? Like more in the physiotherapy and like posture, you would probably be crying right now. But, <laughs> yeah. Hope the audio is okay. I was just have to, you know, bump it up. Yeah, I finally settled for that blue sofa, the blue, uh, the blue circles, because nice with the nice with the window. So, yeah, the color palette just goes kind of you know red and blue and wood tones, white tones, black tones. Also put down some plants, so it's it's a wild, wild ride. Yeah, put down a nice little CD rack. We're gonna pretend they're like DVDs or something. <laughs> just just have let me have this. I really like those. They're very cute. Mm. Yeah, sometimes Max is my it makes nice clutter. Sometimes. <laughs> Made a little bookcase. Technically those books are functional, so I think And I'm gonna put them slightly into the back of that little um yeah, little you know, bookcasey thing. So they should be functional, I hope, I think. Otherwise, you'll just have to, sh you know, put them one tile to the front, and I think the they'll be functional. Although I'm not sure if they are updated for, you know, the um, what the free time. So well, I never really thought about that actually. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, the invasion of the little plants started here. Oh, I love the little plants. Just a little fabric. Oh, I'm yawning. I'm not tired, I swear. I'm not tired. I just literally like got out of bed two hours ago, so. <laughs> but it's the weekend, like. Oh my god, my sleeping schedule is like a big disaster. It's awful. So yeah, starting to fill up the walls a little bit more. And a little entrance area would like it. Yeah, this um coat hanger, as you can see that little rack is amazing. It looks like something from a gymnastics uh you know um, thing. You're supposed to do th stuff like that on it, but it's a clothing rack, so and that table too is like amazing. So I think that idea of me putting there a half wall, of the, half wall of there, gosh, was actually a pretty good idea if I say so myself. Otherwise, I would have just put the table behind the couch. Like it's no, no big deal. <laughs> Still, you know, the, the the idea would be the same. But nah, I just I like the separation this half wall creates. If you have, uh, if you yourself have nice half walls with like you know glass or things, you can also put them there. But as you can see, that umbrella fits just like on that edge. Ah. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes things happen, and they're like, "Yes." Now this is a lamp that came with that set. Yeah, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put it down. Yeah. <laughs> I think those are from. Gosh, the Crimson Sparkles, or was it? I have to check now. I'm gonna check again live. Life who made that little set. Checking right now. I think it was her. Or him, I th but I think it's her. Yeah, the crimson sparkles. Sparkles that are crimson. 
they released that. Oh, a little star. No, it's so cute. I really wish I had some, you know, more colorful colors of that star. Not like this. Those are like one blob of color, which is more uh, varied colors. If you, if you know, that's always the best part. Uh, if you go to like those German Christmas markets, they have those stalls with all those Christmas stars and all the colors. Like, oh, they're so nice. Anyway, we are now in the bathroom. We are in the downstairs area, which is actually technically the first floor, but. Yeah, as you can see, um, the bath wouldn't work like that, so I just quickly flipped the, flipped the door to the other, you know, um, tile, so this way um, your sims will be able to get into the bath, which is kind of important, I think. Finally, excuse to use these bright and colorful colors of this amazing wardrobe. There we go. Up. Uh -huh. It even fits with the color scheme of blue, white, black, and red. Finally using this bed for the first time. I think it's about Anya, right? I think, it's it. I think it is. Anyway, I hadn't used it before, so that's great. Yeah, this time I think, I'm pretty sure I included a bedding in the download file as well. That's one of those things I regularly forget, but... It's in there. As you can see, this part, you know, I'm using all of the colors, all of the patterns, and everything's mismatched, and I personally think it looks amazing. So I'm really happy by what I did here. Let's see. Oh, there we are. Yeah. Look at the colors, it's so cool. Now, of course, your your sims, uh, the animations for sleeping will be a little bit wonky because the bed is a little bit lower and, of course, all the cushions and the blankets will mess things up, but, you know... You have a saying, you know, in the Netherlands, wants to, those that want to be beautiful have to suffer, so... <laughs> There we go. Put on lots of, uh, you know, it's kind of a mismatchy, all of the clutter. Oh, uh, on all of the, um, all of the color, all of the end tables and stuff, but. You know what? I'm having fun. Allow me to have fun. Yeah, I've, I've had those hemness, those little uh, side table colors for a while. I've never, I don't think I've ever used the wood one, the one I'm using right now. So that's also nice. Now, as you will see, I'm gonna put the, yeah, the little star mirror. Doesn't that look great? I'm really, really liking this lot. I'm very proud of what I did. I can't say it enough. We got another Dehemnus. This lot kind of reminds me of all those little um, uh, student houses that I did. I also is, tend to be, I, t I made some bright ones in the university lot uh, sub hoods as well. So yeah, you know, it's nice. Yeah, I finally decided maybe, maybe a little out of color. Yeah, there we go. Not to make everything too matchy because this is obviously a little bit, mm, you know, mismatched, I think. Finally got an excuse, uh, well, excuse, I've used them before. Those, uh, lamps, I think, of the one, yeah, that one, that tubey thing. I don't use those very often, so, again. So, uh, what this is, I don't know, the 13th lot maybe I've done of Blue Water Village? So I'm going pretty fast for my idea. I still feel like I just started Blue Water Village. So, and there, there's like 31 lots and then three lopping lots. So, there, yeah, 34, I think. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 34, so, you know, I'm, I'm almost halfway. That feels insane to me. It's uh, great, actually. Very excited about that. Again, I got a lot of questions. <laughs> I always get people asking, why don't you do this expansion pack? Why don't you do these and these? And I'm like, guys, I'm doing a chronological order. I'm still at open for business. And there's also some lots that came with the stuff pack. So by the time I'm like in Belladonna Cove, my God, am I, I don't even know if I'll still be doing this. Maybe I'll, like, I have no idea. I have no intention of stopping at the moment, but you know, I have no idea what's going to happen. You know, I just started a new job. Maybe things going to happen there. Maybe, you know, we'll see. But at this moment, I'm not planning on stopping anytime soon so again I take up the plans a lot currently yeah plans looks so nice ah kind of, the bathroom's kind of a doll though it's just normal uh, black and white but you know they're bathrooms like who cares <laughs> yeah bathrooms they're not you know they're kind of necessary for your sims once, uh, once, uh, yeah, once. Well, once. Your needs, yeah, your needs. The sims need, so I don't... And they're always, like, in a separate little room, so... Yeah, not the most exciting room to be decorating. Unless it's, like, gigantic, then it's usually fun, but when they are like this, they're two by three tiles, you know, the freedom of cluttering and stuff is very limited, and... You know. I'd rather save that energy for like the living room and the bath and the bedroom, so look. Isn't this cute? So colorful. We got pretty much every color from this, from the color spectrum. I feel like there should be some more color here though, because if you compare it to downstairs department, it's a uh, downstairs department. That feel that's a euphemism for genitals, isn't it? Anyway. Compared to like the bedroom, this one feels a little bit, you know, a little bit more muted. So maybe I should put down some colors here. Hmm. I just started noticing that. Damn it! Now I want to open the lot. <laughs> no, I'm gonna let this go. Yeah, this table is very nice, but I tried to put something there, and I finally set it for PlayStation Four. So it's not functional, I think, though. A little technology clutter. Is that uh, Arkle Storp or whatever it's <laughs> pronounced? That yeah, little table is very cool, so I like it. Ah, the, I love the bedroom. It's so colorful, so nice. Am I getting to the end? I can see. Yes, I am. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.